Hi everybody, my name is Jason Brubaker. For those of you just getting to know me, I run the website jasonbrubaker.com where I share all sorts of internet marketing tips so that you can increase your business. And one of the ways that I've increased my business lately is I started utilizing a software called Lead Pages. And what Lead Pages allows you to do is it allows you to increase the number of people that opt into your email list. And I, thus far in the past few weeks that I've been using it, I've been having outstanding results. But in installing all of the software and going through that process, I turned off all the other software that I had because it was made redundant through the use of Lead Pages. But one thing that I've been wanting to test more and more is what would happen if I installed Lead Pages within a pop up? Would that improve my subscriptions? And so I started trying to find some solutions on how to do that. And if you're looking for a similar solution, today's your lucky day. I'm going to show you how to combine Lead Pages with a smart pop-up plugin, uh, which is essentially an iframe pop-up plugin for WordPress. And if all of that sounds like gobbledygook, just, just stay with me. I promise I'll make this really easy for all of us. And our goal here today is to show you how to stick with lead pages, but at the same time, create an awesome opt-in pop-up for your WordPress site. So the tools I'm going to be using here for all of my WordPress sites, I prefer Genesis themes and Genesis frameworks. Uh, you do not need to utilize Genesis for this particular setup. However, I've only tested it on Genesis. It works perfect for me. You're going to have to test it on your own site to make sure that it works for you. I assume you are already a Lead Pages customer. If you're not, I'll give you a brief overview and I'll also give you some resources for how to find out more about Lead Pages um, because you should be using this in your business. And thirdly, I'm going to show you how to incorporate all of this together with the smart pop up plugin for WordPress. And I think that's a good segue. Let me just flip over there and show you what that looks like. Here is the smart pop up plugin for WordPress that I'm describing. So $15. And so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and download this plugin. And I'll just show you what that looks like. Here it is downloaded. It is on my desktop. And then you want to go back over to your WordPress site. In this case, I'm going to use Jason Brubaker as my example. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and install the plugin. So the way you do that is you click on dashboard and you scroll over here to plugins, click on plugins, go to add new and you would click add new. And then for me, because it's already on my desktop, I would just want to upload it off of my desktop and right here it is. So let me just go ahead and click on plugins. Here's your smart plugin, uh, your smart pop up plugin. I'm going to go ahead and activate that. So I'm sure you've installed some plugins in the past. If you haven't, go ahead and review that part of the video over and over again. But once you go ahead and install the smart pop up plugin, you're going to be immediately directed to the settings place. At this point in time, we're just going to let this sit. Um, I'm not going to do anything with this. I'm not going to change anything, but I'm going to keep this open. And I'm also going to open up a new tab, which is going to take us over to lead pages. Now, once again, for those of you just getting started and you're hearing about lead pages for the first time, I would advise you to go to leadpages.net and watch the video. It'll give you a great overview. But again, the benefit of utilizing lead pages is dramatic. I have been able to really improve my subscriber base and thus improve my business. So I'm going to go ahead and log into lead pages here. I'm now in my lead pages account. As soon as you get here, what's going to happen is you're going to see all of the different lead pages that are available for you. I'm not, like I said, going to go into a lot of detail about this. I'm assuming that many of you are already Lead Pages customers. But in terms of a pop up and setting up Lead Pages so that it works within a pop up framework, one of the things that I'm doing is next week I have a webinar coming up. And so instead of getting people to opt into my regular house list, I want them to actually opt into my webinar list. So the way that I do that is I go into uh, templates and I just choose webinar pages. And I'm just going to give that a second to load here. Once this happens, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click this because this allows me to arrange by conversion rate. So I click the check mark. I'm a big proponent of this one. I think this is a great template. It's simple. Um, because I'm going to be talking about marketing things, I'm just going to go ahead and click on marketing here. Now, again, I'm assuming you've already been through all of this. If not, you can shoot me an email after this and I'll talk to you more about um, lead pages. And if you go ahead and buy lead pages, shoot me an email and I'll even personally help you, um, especially if you use my special link, uh, get started with that. But 
Okay, so what I've done right now is I've just set up this page. I can go in here and change things around as I need to, uh, add different photos and different things that I have. I can go ahead and save that. You know, I want to honor your time. So I've already gone ahead and set some of this stuff up prior to this video. And here it is. It's called my list building webinar. And let me just go ahead and click on here. Now I'm in here. This webinar, I'm going to call it Start Your Own Blogging Biz how to start your blogging biz so you can build your online income over the next 12 months. Here's a little picture of me in the upper right hand corner. Everything that you see comes directly from the lead pages servers, which are, uh, they're frankly housed on the Google servers, which makes them super fast. And that kind of setup, that kind of speed is essential for what I'm about to show you. So how do you take this thing? And, and let me just take a look at it here. I've gone ahead and clicked publish. This is now a live page. I'll go, go ahead and click here. It's live, and here's a URL that, that's actually an official working URL. Grab this link at the top, then I'm going to go back over here to my site, and I'm going to just scroll down here, and I'm going to take that link that I just grabbed, and I'm going to click right here and change that to iframe. And as soon as I do that, what I can do is just drop it in right here. And now I have the lead pages um, webinar set up, ready to rock and roll in a pop-up. And so I hit save, and now check this out. As soon as I do that, that pop-up is locked and loaded, and it's going to pop up as soon as somebody comes to jasonbrewbaker.com. And there it is. That's the pop-up. But you might say, oh my gosh, that looks, that looks awful. Well, the reason why it looks awful is I haven't yet configured it. So if you end up using, and, and it's a little bit of trial and error here, but if you end up using this exact same template that I just showed you on lead pages, then here's the configuration that worked for me. You just go down here. The pop-up box width is 1100. So just change that to 1100 and then change your height right here to 620, 620. And just scroll down to the bottom and click save. And I'm going to go ahead back right over here and I'm going to hit refresh. And voila. Now we have a pop-up that happens whenever somebody comes to the site, they're going to see this pop-up. They click on it and just like before, you can go ahead and opt in to that particular webinar. And if you want to close it, you're right back on the site. I, that's a pretty quick overview of how to combine lead pages with smart pop-up plugin. So hopefully that makes sense. If not, shoot me a quick email or, or drop something in the comments below, and I'll be happy to help you out. It's been a pleasure. Once again, this is Jason Brubaker with jasonbrubaker.com.